A man cried in court today as details of his girlfriend's death from his homemade cannon were revealed. 10 News reporter Aitika Milanis explains why Richard Fox says this was a tragic accident. Richard Fox cried during his preliminary hearing and still insists that what happened to his girlfriend in March 2012 was a terrible accident. Listen to what he told the 911 dispatcher. We've been drinking a little bit, you know, I mean, we had a few beers, whatever. I went out there with this stupid homemade cannon with this firework in there, and it went off and blew a hole through the side of the house, and, and it hit on the side, and it oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my God. Wednesday, we saw for the first time the homemade cannon that Fox says pierced through his mobile home in Potrero and struck his living girlfriend, Jeanette O'Gara. It's actually simply a piece of metal tubing. It's a pipe into which some volatile material is introduced to make a loud boom. Um, and yet it's being referred to as a cannon by everyone. Two of the men inside the trailer that night took the stand. They were so emotional they could barely speak. They stood up and with their dying breath, they gasped his name. Uh, Ricky. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I saw Jeanette hit the floor. At the time of the blast, the couple's four-year-old daughter was sleeping just a few feet away. And for that, Fox is also charged with child endangerment. Itika Milanis, 10 News. The judge ruled there was enough evidence for the case to go to trial. Fox's next court date is July 24th.